Well then, normally this is the time where, you know, we go back to requests and whatnot, but oh, this Wait, is- there's more. There's more. There's more. It's Halloween. Yes, it is Halloween week coming up this Saturday. And we here at Radio Dead Air have been looking at horrible, horrible things for many years. We're trained, we're professionals. Don't try this at home. One of the things we look at each year is this cavalcade of sexy costumes. Now, I have no problem with the sexy. I have no problem with the sex. It's fun, it's great, it's human, it's normal. Enjoy, responsibly. However, there is, you know, I'm not gonna shame you for what costume you decide to wear. There are just some things that costume makers seem to think is sexy when it's really not. Yeah. It's disturbing. And there's an implication that making a sexy costume of it is that someone somewhere secretly desires to fuck it. Which is probably true. Yeah, but I think that says a lot more about the people making the costumes than their intended audience. Well, it means they've thought about it at least once. <sighs> Probably. Probably. Well, we've got a couple of honorable mentions. I, I tend to reserve the, the, the sexy ones to actual store-bought, off the rack. You, you walk in and buy the costumes. But we have a, we've got a couple honorable mentions before we get to the horrible shit. First of all, there's a do-it-yourself costume that was recommended by the site um, HalloweenCostumes.com. Have you heard about the Halloween Whopper, Tara, from Burger King? No. It's this Whopper with this black bun. Uh, oh, yeah, the one that makes you poop green? I don't know why you'd want to eat that. I don't know why you'd want to be that. Sexy green poop Whopper costume. That's the sentence I just read. Sexy green, ho sexy Halloween Whopper green poop costume. Sexy oh. poop. Okay. Right out of the gate. Sexy poop. I know that's a thing. I know that's a fetish that people have. I don't really get it. I'm not gonna lie, like whatever, whatever floats your boat, but I don't really get it. There's also like, you can go as the poop emoji. I saw a sexy poop emoji costume. Why? There are complete instructions on the site for how to make your own sexy and, and recommendations. Recommendations for a couple's costume idea, the green poop and the Whopper, and for trios, the green poop, the Whopper, and the Burger King. Who gets to be despair? <laughs> As, poop it, nothing sexy about poop. There, there really isn't. Oh God, mother. Fucking Christ. It's just yesterday's food. Nothing sexy about that. Now, moving along, this is one costume that actually raised enough an uproar that it was pulled the fuck down. Um, as many of you may know, this year Caitlyn Jenner uh, came out as a uh, transgender and her transition uh, made the cover of Vanity Fair. It was a big deal. It was a big step forward. It was a good thing. And just like every good thing, someone had to fucking ruin it. The Caitlyn Jenner costumes... Oh, no, it's the wrong place. I'll put it over here, too. The Caitlyn Jenner costumes came out. Did these get pulled? Because I saw this in my local Halloween store. There was a whole end cap. Oh, God. Several costume online retailers are selling variations. The online petition is urging them to stop selling the costume. Halloween's a long way. Several, oh, let's see. Um, 
Yeah, they have pictures. Now, now, just just look at that. Just just with the sash, it says "Call me Caitlin," and it is. I mean, and then there's the. This is the spirit of Halloween version, or spirit Halloween's version. Yeah, that's where I saw it. I. Why would you do this? I mean, on one hand, I find it sort of nice that finally men are being expected to freeze their asses off on Halloween wearing skimpy lingerie. <laughs> but just in general, th on the other hand, it's kind of mean spirited and horrible. There was a group of people at this company who sat down and thought, OK, what's our next costume? We could make one about Caitlyn Jenner for dudes. Sell it. They all thought this was a great idea. They, they, they all thought this was just it. Motherfucker. Yeah, this got through all the corporate red tape and nobody was like, you, you don't think we're going to get some bad press on this one? Like, I'm not really concerned about being terrible people or anything because whatever. But this might be bad for our bottom line. Yeah. People remember this shit. They, 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 I, ew. Just, guys, you're being assholes. I don't like giving my money to assholes. Because no. then, then you're an asshole and you have my money. I yeah. would rather my money be, you know, with not assholes. <laughs> I'd rather, yeah. I mean, I'd rather, I, I was about to say I'd rather my money be with me, but I do a lot of shopping, so I can't really say that. We also have, sadly, a kids section for the honorable mentions this year. No. Yeah, you know, actually, Halloween shopping, we were looking at the kids' costumes just because, and gross. Like, there was a kid's sassy pirate, and I'm like, why can't your little girl just be a, a fucking pirate? Why does she have to be a sassy pirate? Well, this one started with the news. Uh, start, this one hit the news, but there were a couple others. Th this is the first one that's just... No one expects girls to dress in skimpy costumes. I think they're being sarcastic there. Okay. I'm like, welcome to Earth. I see you're new here. This one comes from Party City. Um, toddlers girls cop costume. Uh-oh. What the fuck? No, why? What is even? What's with the, what's with the belt? Why is it frilly? The handcuffs, the boots. Now, just for comparison, let me find it here. I, I want to show you this dress is sassy and sweet, perfect for tough girls. I, I want to show you just for comparison, um, what the boys' version looks like. Like okay. a cop. Yeah, let, let, let's let, let's let's give you guys a, a, a look here. Yeah, th this this is the boys' version of the same costume. Because it's important that we teach girls around like age four that they just can't be things. That it is important to always be sexy things. But that was the one that made the news in a bunch of places. There are worse. This one. Oh, fuck me. May, tween major flirt costume. Let's have a look there. Is it not working? I had to copy and paste that one. Queen. Something went awry. Look at this. It even says right there on the lapel, major flirt with the high heeled boots and the, uh, yeah, this is this. I want to know who the parents are that think it's okay for their nine year old to go out dressed like this. Like on the one hand, I saw this whole thing on Buzzfeed about like super feminist 
DIY Halloween costumes. And like, as the person whose mother made me go as Geraldine Ferraro one year, like, don't make Halloween a political statement. Just let your kid be fucking Elsa if she yeah. wants. Like, it's not going to kill her. Like, we don't need to get that super serious about it. But, but on the other end, who are the parents that are letting their nine year old go out all fucking tarted up like some kind of why does pageant hell why does it have fishnet gloves for an army costume that was standard issue right you guys all lost four fishnet in the army oh, yeah. hmm. Fish. And thongs <sighs> need a bdu thong now yeah, the yeah from the source <laughs> now our final one for the kids category is this is one you gotta think about for a second but once you do Oh, it hurts. This one, this might seem a little, you know, just sort of cute at first. Twister girl's costume. No. Because if you stop and think about this for a second. No, no, no. Right hand red, left mm -mm. hand green. There's the spinner, Otter. Ah! Nope, 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 nope. That's not right. And I don't think you actually have to think about that one for that long. Because pretty much as soon as I heard the name, I, I was on the train to Nope Town. And again... Spirit of Halloween, same same site as the, the Caitlyn Jenner one. They're like, this went through a committee. They thought this was a perfect idea. Let's uh, let's ship it. Let's, let's ship get it. little girls molested. <sighs> well, now let's put the hand right here. Uh, On her not yet extant tit. Also, why is the foot here? Why? Why? Is, just, well, if she puts up a fight, then you got to kick her. Oh, that ain't right. Well, let's move. It's time for the grown-ups. Let's, let's move it on along. Our first entry, we're starting easy. We're going to ease into this, kid. Our first entry comes from Wholesale Halloween Costumes. Sexy Shark Bite. Women's costume. What? And if you look very closely here, you see it's, 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 there's the costume. There's a grisly chunk removed with bloody stuff. What the fuck is even this? What is sexy here? So, you're. I don't even understand the physics of this because like the bitten out part is here. Right. But the shark's eye is up here. Right on your nipple. So are you like midway through being consumed by the shark? Have you merged with the shark? Right. So if so, then why do you still have this arm? Is is this sort of like the fly? Were you in the uh, like a teleporter? Yeah, like did a terrible teleportation accident happen and you are now part human, part shark that was eating you and why the did the bloody did, was that necessary really the goal would hold oh, and note it's 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 not me calling it's called sexy shark bite women's costume so someone thought this is hot also i want to point out that if you're interested Price reduced. Oh boy. Retail $58.99. It's on sale for $41.90. That's a saving of $17, Tara. Just the whole layout confuses me. <sighs> I, I can't make that work. Does is, is someone... Who is turned on by this? Um... Animal Planet Enthusiasts. That's the channel Shark Week's on, right? No, it's Discovery. 
Well, our next one is one. our next one's a combination of uh, two different sites. The first one's Party City, SpongeBob, SpongeBob. Well, Party City advises you they have many options available for you to make your own SpongeBob costume. Oh. Notice how every single one of them is that's enough it's fucking lingerie at this point. I'm a little weirded out by that headband. <laughs> Okay, why do you need SpongeBob's horrifying face on a corset? Yeah, I know. Do it's... you want people to be afraid of your boobs? <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one way to not get sexually harassed on Halloween, to make your tits. Actually... <laughs> no, no, I was, well, I was going to molest her, but then her tits looked at me and I was afraid. I was so afraid. I am a big fan of the tutu and hot pants that have the little tie right here. So it looks like you have a little penis coming out of your belly button. <laughs> but, you know, not to be outdone, Yandy decided if you're if you're going to. Yandy, our best friends this time of year. If you're going to go as SpongeBob, someone needs to go as his bestest buddy. You guys know Yandy. Yandy's the home of the sexy pizza. Under, the sexy wedge of lemon. Underwater best friend costume. For those of you who have ever decided, you know, I'd like to fuck Patrick, but not enough boobs or vagina. Well, they got you covered at Yandy. Oh, and there's a pop-up that says you'll get a free panty with every order. I noticed that. So, you know, bonus. Nice. Bonus. It's It's... So Patrick won't have to go commando. Uh, why? What, you got to admire the models and all of these because they're just working it no matter how fucking yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, they're just fucking selling it. No matter how horrific or ridiculous they put the costume. That, also, this isn't really so much Patrick as someone has skinned Patrick <laughs> and is wearing his corpse. You have defeated Patrick <laughs> and are wearing him as a pelt. Oh, it's, it's just, well, next up, of course, Star Wars is coming around again. Yeah. It's it's almost here. We're almost going to have our brand new Star Wars movie. So we hear there are going to be big changes to the prime directive. Stop trolling them, Tara. I, I got to live with this shit. I'll be, I'll be here. Fuck's sake. So, uh, you know, you know what, when I was a kid and I saw Darth Vader, you know what I thought? I, 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 I want to put my dick in that. Sure. I mean, who didn't? Who did? Who really? Look at this. You know what? Maybe Vader wouldn't have turned to the dark side if he got a good dicking once in a while. <laughs> Maybe that's what Vader needed. Maybe that's why he breathed like that. He was just so worked up with sexual tension. Yeah, you know, this is one of those costumes. I'm like, you can, if you're a woman and you want to dress up as Darth Vader, just dress up as Darth Vader. Yeah. The men's costume will fit you too. Yeah. It It's, you don't need, you know, the, the, the life support slash bustier. No. Going on there. And what exactly is sexy about an evil dude with no arms, no legs, and third-degree burns all over the rest of his desiccated husk. Somebody wanted to fucking... Like, what's sexy about that? But you know you know what? It's Dar keep in mind that Darth Vader killed a bunch of children, mm -hmm. attacked his own wife, mm -hmm. then got his arms and legs cut off, and then got set on fire. After trying to murder his best friend. Right. That's like... That's like the opposite of sexy in so many ways. Well, you know, if Darth Vader is just a bridge too far, don't worry. For those of you folks who had a hard on for Wicket W. Warwick the Ewok, they've got you covered. For what? 
Remember the Ewoks? It's the voice that makes Vader sexy. <clears throat> Do you it. want a woman to have that voice? Oh, yes. Harder. <laughs> Harder. <laughs> Do you want to be nailing the fuck out of some chick and she's like, I find your lack of erection disturbing. <laughs> but you do. if you ever wanted to nail an Ewok, they got you covered. They did Chewbacca once, didn't they? Yeah, but the Ewok is just a little more disturbing because that's like, you know, that's like nailing the family dog. It kind of looks like a teddy bear in a hijab. Well, that's kind of what the, the Ewoks were. I guess, yeah. That's that's like, you know, you go up to the St. Bernard and go, hey, baby, you want a good time? That's just all kinds well, of creepy. I mean, plushies are a thing. Uh, this isn't even that far down the fetish rabbit hole. Well, you know, out there right now, there's somebody in a not sexy Ewok costume with a hole cut out for their nooks and crannies. Yeah. And they're fucking someone in a not sexy Chewbacca costume with a similar hole. That's why Baskin Robbins has 31 flavors, dude. Well, you know, memes, I've always been big with these for some weird reason, which I don't understand. I don't get. But for anyone out there who, do you remember the pizza rat that went around for a little yeah, while? of course. The rat with a piece of pizza, so happy going down the stairs. Real you know, New York City hero, pizza rat. For any of you who saw the pizza rat and got a raging erection, they've got you covered. See your doctor. Or an exorcist. Now, this is so fucking lazy. Not not only is it is is it not sexy. This is so lazy. I do like the design element that the two slices of pizza are pointing right at her vagina. Right at the vagina. Just in case you didn't get the idea. Because they're I mean, let's be honest. That's just great nonverbal messaging because what do men love more than pizza and vagina? If you could get a beer in between her tits, like, goddamn. She could just go as... misogyny. <laughs> this, you know what, I, I, I'm kind of, in a few years we're gonna see this one recycled as sexy Chuck E. Cheese. That, that's probably what this was recycled from. Possibly. Yeah. They had this one laying around for the last 15 years, and they're like, finally! Finally! We have a place to use it. Um, now, you know, I've like... Sexy pizza rat. Sexy pizza. Who was looking at that and going, oh, yeah, I want to put my dick in that. That's what I want to put my dick in. Um, now, when I was a kid, I loved Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I love the comics. Hated the cartoon. Love the comics. Big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans. But not only is this one a little confusing for me, it, again, lazy as shit. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle women's leotard. Now, something to note about this. They're using the actual full name Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Which means it's a licensed product. And they've got the logo there. So yeah. so they signed off on this. Yeah. Well, that's a bathing suit. That's a bathing suit. That's a fucking bathing suit. They're not even trying. I mean, that's great for your Halloween pool party. That, that's, that is lazy. Lazy as dick. I'm just gonna, just gonna leave that one alone. <laughs> Again, now this one, you can look at the model's face and she's just like, what am I doing here? Like, where's your shell? Aren't you supposed to have a shell? Yeah, let's see, is there, there's no back shot of this one. Just, is... Well, there's a plastic shell you can just like wear. 
There's no mask. There's no knee pads. There's no weapons. There's just a bathing suit. Just a bathing suit. Just, just a... When you couldn't even, you couldn't even give a shit. You just could not give a fuck. But of course, there's also traditional, like, mythological choices this Halloween. Um, like, take, for example, unicorns. Unicorns are big with people. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I, unicorns are big with people. Why the fuck not? <laughs> Why the fuck not? People like stuff. People like things. I'm fighting here, Tara. I'm fighting my way through this shit. <laughs> So let, let's have a look at a unicorn costume, shall we? That this is, no, this isn't a unicorn. This is a train wreck. What the fuck happened here? What is this? Um, it's a unicorn, lady. What the fuck? That doesn't look like a unicorn. That does not look like a unicorn. What the hell is even going on? First of all, that horn is way too big and just kind of looks like a dunce cap. Yeah. So, or I see if I saw this without a label, I would think like sexy clown. Yeah. Like sexy birthday clown. Sexy unicorn. The, the, this this is supposed to be a sexy. <laughs> I'm, I'm reminded of what are you supposed to be? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a mouse. I'm a mouse. Duh. Uh, that's gotten. Worse. Wouldn't it be like in the remake of the Last Unicorn? This is what she's gonna look like when she turns into a girl. Uh, don't. Don't, don't, don't. And she's gonna sing that now that I'm a woman song, except it's gonna be like she's gonna be twerking. It's like they just found a bunch of leftover shit at the warehouse and threw it the fuck together. Kind of, yeah. Now, and don't... Now, guys, I know lots of guys are like the mermaids, but they're all... You know, I'd, I'd really like to fuck a mermaid, but they don't have a vagina. Well, don't right. worry. Four Play Catalog has you covered. Deep blue sea mermaid costume. There's a there's a thing called foreplay catalog. Yep. What do they sell? Costumes. Really? That's it. And lingerie and swimwear and. Tell me, gentlemen, ladies. Oh, for that's a nice play on words. What's what's wrong with this picture, everyone? Well, she has legs. Yes. This, what, this is, this is supposed to say mermaid. This is supposed to be a, what? I'm seeing more like Aquaman side piece. Yeah. Why does it have a butt veil? Well, that's, I guess that's supposed to be the tail. No, that's a butt veil. <laughs> And they don't even show it from the front. Like I hear it's clearly not existent in the photos from the front because it would be hanging down between her legs. I hear Dan has passed the fuck out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it just it really. This is. Let me see if I can. <laughs> you, you're, you're, you're snoring on the air. <laughs> he's he's flipping me off right now appropriate response i just don't want you getting made fun of by the internet i love you <laughs> now for for some of these people who who thought maybe these costumes were a little bit subtle maybe maybe these costumes well don't worry we've got you covered because yeah, this. <sighs> Office flirt. Oh. Why would you pay twenty three ninety five for that when you could clearly make it at home? 
It's literally just post-its. Post-its, some string, some and underwear, a and a tie. Like you need a thong, post-its, and a tie. Some of the post-its read, I'm your naughty secretary, copy room quickie, three-way conference call, lunchtime quickie. So we're already getting repetitive with these. <laughs> It's, is subtlety dead? Uh, you know who's ahead of the polls for president? Yeah, I do. Right? So yes, subtlety is dead. The post-its don't even go all the way around. Come on, that's just lazy. Yeah. Put some post-its on her butt. I mean, for fuck's sakes, it's like, you're not, you've completely abandoned the pretense of Halloween at this point. Well, I mean, to be fair, this might not be a Halloween costume. Uh, this might be a for private use costume, because, you know, it is Yandy. Dude, would you really want to take that chance, Tara? I mean, I'm not fucking wearing it. <laughs> So our next one, I think I this one actually existed, but I think they pissed off someone far more powerful than they than than themselves when they created this. I could only find what was left of it as an image. Um, do not fuck with the mouse. Oh no. You'll notice here on the on the far, I believe, the far right uh, of the picture here, the sexy sorcerer's apprentice, which looks like someone, a grown person, skinned Mickey Mouse, took his clothing, and is wearing little Mickey's outfit. You know, the thing is, if that robe just came all the way down, that wouldn't even be bad. No, it wouldn't. But no, no, it has to like be. Like, if that was just the full-length robe, that would be a pretty good costume. But it's not. It's like someone killed Mickey and stole his clothes. They don't fit you, lady. I like the one where you're wearing Mickey's eyeballs on your tits. <laughs> or is that mini? I guess it's mini because you have a bow. And polka dots, so that makes it mint. Yeah. That's that's how you So so this is is this one you can't get this because I'm pretty sure someone at Disney saw this and went, Oh hell no. Yeah. You ain't doing that shit. Oh hell no. Although I don't know, because you can get all the sexy Marvel characters and that's owned by Disney now. Have you seen? I think and there's like 40 different permutations of sexy Captain America running around. Well, there's the sexy Marvel characters and then there's Mickey. You don't fuck with Mickey. True. You don't fuck with Mickey. That's kind of their Jesus. Uh, so um, this one is, I guess, inevitable. Someone, someone decided they wanted to fuck this. It horrifies me. It horrifies me that this this is sexualized. This is. Oh my God. Hot sale. And I love how this, this is on Alibaba, AliExpress.com. Hot sale, minions, cosplay, clothing, women's jumpsuit, costume, sexy dance performance. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Minions, sexy fucking Minions. That part doesn't surprise me. I'm caught up on the name. Yeah, the the hot sale clothing, cosplay clothing, women's jumpsuit, sexy dance performance, free like, you shipping. Know you don't have to put all the Google terms in the title. Right? <laughs> you don't have to do that. Really, really, someone's. We're back to this. Someone saw the minions and decided, I want to put my dick in whatever the hell that is. I mean, they do kind of look like little bullet vibes or butt plugs. It's not that long a leap. They look like little sex toys. With big, creepy eyes and weird little voices. And of course, finally on the, on the main list, uh, the one that everyone sent, 
the one that everyone saw, the one that no one could stop fucking talking about. Donna T. Rumpshaker. Yeah. <clears throat> the sexy Donald Trump. Which is not only a lazy ass costume. It's just really, yeah, re really. That's that's, that's what you're in. With? That's what you're into. I mean, it is terrifying. Yeah, if if you want to scare the shit out of people, especially if you want to scare anyone who's brown on Halloween, this is a perfect costume. Anyone who is not a rich white person. Terrifying. But weirdly turned on. Yeah. Why? Re really? It is lazy as, as hell, though. And the hair is better than his real hair. It is. I mean, that kind of looks like Jennifer Lawrence's hair when she cut it really short. How much is it? It's only $70. That's a deal for him. He could get this and he would he would be, you know, he would have much better hair. Yeah, but the thing is, it doesn't come with the wig. Oh, it doesn't, the hat and wig, so, right. wow! So, it only comes, it's basically a booty short business suit. So not only... You don't get the branding for that $70. So not only is it in awful taste, it's a ripoff to boot. Yeah. It is kind of the perfect Donald Trump costume. Yeah. They, they really did nail the spirit of Donald Trump. But our last one's technically not on the list. It's it's just one of those you really want some nightmares to go to sleep with. Tara sent me this one. Um, kids, I, I want you to stare into the face of whatever this is and know you'll never sleep well again. I don't remember sending you anything. Oh, you don't, do you? No. You did this. The Elmo skin suit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Elmo gimp suit is what they should call it. Because it's a fucking Elmo gimp suit. That's a thing. Adult costume. It certainly is. But, you know, don't worry. If you don't like Elmo... You got options. You got options. So if if you, you don't could also be Ernie. You've got options, people. That 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 right there. That's gonna haunt you. That's gonna follow you into your dreams. Happy motherfucking Halloween. Elmo, sorry. Elmo, not sorry. Elmo, love you. Long time.